How do you begin to promote your podcast on LinkedIn? A question came in this week from Thomas Sjoberg over on LinkedIn, where he spoke about, do we need a page? Do we promote using video or audio content? What do we do when it comes to getting started with LinkedIn promotion for your podcast? Let's dig in because LinkedIn is a tool and a network that is fantastic for podcasters. LinkedIn, in fact, is, believe it or not, I can't even believe that I'm saying this, but it is one of my favourite social media platforms. It didn't used to be, and it's a little bit clunky, but recently it's had a bit of a renaissance insofar as they've put more of a focus on content. And as a podcaster, you can really use that to your advantage. The thing is, as I would say with every other piece of marketing, is that, look, you know, you, you've got to add value, you've got to educate or entertain you can't just promote. So many people get this wrong when it comes to LinkedIn and even Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and just marketing in general. They do old school broadcast marketing where they just throw messages out there, they put audiograms out there and it's not really that good. It's just not that good stuff. And the thing is, the key with LinkedIn is that it's all about engagement. LinkedIn wants people to stay on their website. So the more you can get people to engage, the more they'll stay on LinkedIn, the better you will do. That's the same for Twitter, it's the same for Facebook and of course Instagram. But the key thing here is that LinkedIn's a very specific quote unquote professional audience. It's very easy to get lost in the mire of just a tidal wave of content. So if you put audiograms on there, if you don't really do too much on there that is interesting, you know, it's not really powerful content, then you're just going to get lost. No one's going to look at it. You're not going to get much engagement. You certainly won't get click throughs and you won't get listens. Now, the thing to remember with LinkedIn is that it's not great with audio. So if you were to post your MP3 player or your file on there from your podcast host like Captivate, it ain't going to do too much. It's just not that good. So Captivate and and other podcast hosts will put together videos for you. Very often you can, you can repurpose them using tools like Captivate and put sort of an audiogrammed version of the entire episode on LinkedIn, which is fine. But again, I don't think it's the best way to do it. Should we have a page? Should we use video? What should we do? Yes, of course, have a page. Now, it's weird because I don't actually have a page for the Podcast Accelerator podcast. The reason for that is that the Accelerator, it's not my main reason for being on LinkedIn or for even marketing. That's, of course, Captivate, Podcast Websites, Podcast Success Academy, Rebel Based Media, Productivity, all the products that we do, like they're my things. They're the things that I sell to the world. Maybe your podcast is the thing that you sell to the world. So you want people to come through. So yes, have a page for your podcast. Of course, have a page for your podcast. Why not? Worst case, claim that page. And even if you don't use it, which I would recommend you do use it, even if you don't, at least no one else can get it. So that's very, very important. The thing that I would then recommend is that use your timeline. What do people want to see? People don't want to see, I've just posted a new episode. People don't really like that. And I've tried it. It doesn't work that well. I've tried all manner of LinkedIn marketing. What I can tell you is that people don't don't like those posts that much. They don't get any traction. They don't get any opinion. They don't really get anything. So don't just be lazy and post your, you know, little little, little cheeky audiogram on there. Don't just post, published a new episode. Here's a link to my website. Even if the picture looks fine, don't do that. That's not the way to do it. LinkedIn, in my view, works best when you tell stories. Okay. So there are a few people that do this really, really well. Janet Murray does it pretty well. You've got Liz Willits who does it very, very well. Jordan Harbinger does it very, very well. And what they do is they craft a story. So in their status update, they will very often either post a short video or they'll post a picture. And Jordan in particular, Jordan Harbinger does this very, very well. He'll post a picture of him and his guest. It's nothing crazy. It might just be an arm round or, you know, it'll just be a nice picture, nothing to it, but it's a good picture that catches the attention. Then in the status, he tells the story. Now, the thing with LinkedIn is that what you'll remember is that it kind of, it kind of just, it subdues the statuses that you put out. So what I'm talking about is you can see the first line of a LinkedIn status, then you've got the read more button. So make that read more button clickable. And what I'm talking about there is make sure that your first line is actually good. Make sure your first line warrants a click through to that read more so that they expand the status. And then at the bottom of the status, you put the link in. So try and tell a story. So as an example of that, if I was to interview Jordan Harbinger and we talked about interview skills, what I would probably do on LinkedIn is I put a picture of me and Jordan over at Podcast Movement, maybe having a beer, pop that on LinkedIn. And in the status along with that picture, what I would put is something like this. The first line would be, why aren't your interviews as good as they could be? question mark. And I would leave it, I'd bait it, but then the rest of the status beneath the read more, I would tell a story. I'd say Jordan Harbinger is one of the world's foremost podcasters and of course, one of the world's finest interviewers. However, it's become clear to Jordan that so many people are setting up interview podcasts without the skills, the research, and frankly, the desire to deliver fantastic content. That is why your podcast is not quite succeeding as well as it could do. In this episode of the Podcast Accelerator, I talked to Jordan about three things you can do to increase your interview skills and boost your podcast downloads. And then I would put a link to that 
episode. I know that sounds quite convoluted, but look, if you're marketing your podcast anyway, then why not? We may as well do it properly. And that is how I'd get started with LinkedIn because LinkedIn's algorithm works very much on shareability. It works very much on virality, on making things go a little bit more viral. So if I create content, if other people engage with it, like it, share it, comment on it, and so on and so forth, the better it does if people do that and it gets a wider reach and a wider spread. And thus you expose that impression becomes wider and far, much more far reaching for your brand and for your podcast than if you just post a, hey, put a new episode out. So get started with that, Thomas. I hope it helps. If you've got any questions, let me know. You can either let me know on LinkedIn, search for me, Mark Asquith. You'll see me on there. I'm labeled as that British podcast guy. Find me on LinkedIn. You'll also see me on Twitter at Mr. Asquith or of course on the YouTube comments as well. So please let me know what I can do. All right. Good luck with your LinkedIn podcast marketing.